I think what makes my work recognizable is that it's very visual. You're drawn to it. There's usually nothing that looks like it. I make sure that I combine a sort of beauty and logic in everything that I do. I'm interested in how things are grown, the way that nature grows from nothing. In architecture today, you can make a building do anything you want. But wouldn't it be nice to bring that sculpture, that sort of cityscape, bring it into small objects that you can live with every day? I was looking for something called Kikones. It's not just visual, it's also tactile. So if you take something like the lipstick, the outward silhouette is for everybody in the world to show and appreciate, but the actual surface of that lipstick is for you. I find that incredible. I find that so intimate. The compact was this surface which gives you multiple reflection. It's very three-dimensional. It also opens in a particular way. Often the woman has to open it with one finger or a thumb, so that has to be taken into consideration. Each product in themselves has a, has a very different function, but through them all, you will always get the Kiko waistline. And once you've got kiko -ness, you know their character. Once you know their character, then you can go off into the future to make amazing things.